ECB kept the rates unchanged yesterday. Uh, now we are remaining in a holding pattern pending the strategic review that um, Ms. Lagarde uh, proposed, finally a strategic review after 16 or so odd years. The euro dollar moved to the downside, but there's not much more space to the downside, at least for the time being, for the euro dollar. Now concerns over the spread of coronavirus are heightening. We've seen a risk of uh, appetite uh, taking place with Aussie dollar uh, also weakening despite the fact that they've had a very good jobs numbers. And of course then we have also the pound which I'm going to analyze again today. View of the UK economy has remained uh, I would say over the past few days more hawkish than expected or because we, we had talks about a potential uh, rate cut now this seems to be stabilizing this 50-50% chance the pound is supported or there is still concerns about a potential rate cut and now prices are moving higher because that would make a better sell obviously. Now Euro dollar, we've had this move down here being a, uh, the first intermediate wave to the downside and these, we're calling for this one to be in a corrective wave too. Okay, this still is the case. Um, what I've changed in my previous, uh, previous time uh, outlook was I was seeing this as a, as a triangle, okay. I believe that this would be one, two, three, four, and five, okay. Now, of course, with this fresh corrective structure, uh, and the break below the 110.85, let's just say, okay, after this bounce over here, this looks like a WXY to me, another complex uh, pattern, double zigzag, uh, ABC, X, ABC. So we've got, we've got like probably potentially one more move to the downside to take out this previous low, right? And then we should start moving to the upside around the 113 level to complete this triple zigzag uh, in the intersection of the ascending trend line and uh, price. Now there is some signs on the euro, um, dollar, RSI and MACD, uh, but because they're not as strong, um, this is why I believe most likely going to see another move to the downside to take out some stops over here. Now when I jump on the Aussie and then I will go to the pound because we have a very similar uh, pattern here on the Aussie. However, let me just tell you that I've also changed my view. Um, I, I was under the impression it looked like we're in an A, B and C pattern, right? We've had an A, B, C, A, B, C, and then I was expecting one, two, three, four, and five. A similar pattern with a Euro dollar. Now, since we got this break below that level, right, that invalidated that invalidated this has been one, two, okay, and then three, four, and five, of course, because we moved really uh, low compared to these previous highs, uh, which makes this move also corrective, right? Now, again, um, I'm expecting this to bring us a bounce, a nice bounce, maybe a little bit lower, okay? One, two, three, four, five. We could see the prices moving a little bit lower, but uh, since we have very good... Uh, channel here, ascending channel, I would expect prices to start turning very, very soon. And the potential is above the 71 cents. Now, the Aussie here has much stronger and also multiple signs of a bullish move to the upside. The last one for the day, pound dollar, it moves uh, exactly as we expected. I mean, we've talked about this ABC correction. We still expect another move to the downside. Right now, we do we do get this um, sort of bearish hidden divergence here, but I I believe I believe uh, we could start turning lower a little bit um, slowly, right, and then take out the low below 128.89 or so, which is the wave A. I'm still thinking of this being. Um, a, a zigzag potentially could be or just a simple uh, standard uh, correction uh, three. Let me just go on the one hour here as well. Um, so we've had the fifth wave, fifth move to the downside, right? Now we could say that this could be an A, B and a C, all right? That means that we're going to see prices moving higher. We had one, two, then we're going to get three, four and five, okay? 
Or the other scenario uh, is that we've had A, B, and C with wave B here. And this is C, which means one, two, three, um, four, five, six, and seven, because that in this scenario, okay, then we're probably looking at an A, B, C, yeah, X, A, B, C, which means this would be a uh, double zigzag pattern, okay? So there is two scenarios on pound dollar. Uh, things are a bit more complicated, to be honest, on the pound dollar. Euro dollar and Aussie look like they have uh, reached a very uh, good level for a potential bounce.